everybody, it's me, Kiara Zina Cheetah, here with more Curse, the Eye of Isis, and shit went down! I found smelling salts, I sure do want those. Um, basically, Victoria here was kind of butterfingers. And she dropped the Eye of Isis. But I found shotgun shells, so maybe it's not all that bad. This room is really weird. Why? Why can't I see over in this corner? That's not nice, game. Is there anything over here? No, because that's where I just came from. Oh! Uh. Really? Really? I'm gonna check real quick, okay. I don't know why I used that, but I did. I really wish I had a reload button, you know? Oh, jeez. I found mortar shells. I like the sounds in this game. Lots of interesting things. Lots of mortar shells! Man, they're gonna want me to use a lot of mortar shells with whatever is coming up, huh? I thought for a minute that was another statue, and I was gonna yell. Cause like I, we already had one big dumb statue fight. It's what? over, thief. That statue belongs to me. Now say your prayer. Um. So you first, is it? Very well. What? Um. Oh, Terry. Oh! He did? He did. You've caused us a lot of trouble, friend. Exactly how you want to talk to Lasha. Um. <sighs> Whoa, what? What on earth? So, my suspicions were correct. Uh. You. You knew about it. Who is this? Sutton, you underestimate yourself. Strong as you are, there is another force which has protected you thus far, that of Isis herself, who gave her power to protect the Earth from the evil curse which she knew may be unleashed one day. Um. This Lesha, acting alone, for we have seen no accomplices, has negotiated this treacherous path with equal ability. But I don't understand. Your mother, Clarissa, was pregnant during the expedition which began this unfortunate affair. As your dear father noted, it was Clarissa Sutton who first removed the eye from its resting place, accompanied by a most unusual occurrence. Um... What? After the expedition, when ill luck befell the party, we never heard from the Suttons again. I believe they blamed Dr. Dane for their poor fortune. That Clarissa had been carrying twins, well... That is something we were never... To whoa, whoa, whoa. Twin sisters? What? Evidently, Isis herself foresaw she would need mortal assistance in bringing events to a peaceful conclusion. Uh... Her responsibility was shared between two women of courage who have survived their differing paths through life as ignorant of their destiny as they were of the existence of the other. Uh, uh, what? No. Darian... The statue must be returned to its resting place. Darian, no. The curse. That thing's moving. On you. I must. My family has much to atone for. My brain hurts. But uh he's getting dragged away. There he goes. Bye. Bye, Bupo. I I do I... I will... I... <laughs> Shmur? Oh, please stop. Alright, so... Okay, okay, I, I just... <laughs> please shut up. Okay. I'm not coming yet! I need to process! The story that was just dumped into my lap. Okay, so let me get this straight. Victoria over there 
has a twin sister who's right here. And apparently she grew up in France or some shit because her she went under the name Lashaw. And like everybody knew her, him, whatever, person as Lashaw. Um, Abdul knew about this shit from the beginning and he didn't tell either of us um, anything. So, fuck you for once, Abdul. I still love you, but, um... Man, you, 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 you could have dropped hints. You could have said, Oh, by the way, don't you ever wish you had a sister or some shit? I don't know! Um, this kind of came out of left field and I'm not sure how to feel about it! Please be quiet, man. I don't care. I feel like final boss battle's about to happen, though. So I'm gonna take all of the things. I'm giving them all to um, Abdul. That's what I'm doing. Or am I? No, I'm taking them. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna do the uh, most of the um, inventory switcherooing off screen, but I will show you everybody's dealio going on. So I will be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back, and this is probably going to be the last episode, no matter how long it goes, of Curse the Eye of Isis. I know, it's been kind of a journey. Although not that long of one. Anyway, so this is Darian's inventory. I, uh, I assume that he is the um, final character to actually, you know, beat the boss and everything. So I'm just gonna give him all the shit, and if I'm wrong, oopsie-daisy. Um, that's why I have save rotation, so that I can come back and fix my oopsies. So I have the pistol, the mortar gun, the crossbow, and the shotgun. The truncheon, I don't think is going to be much use from this point out, unfortunately. Even though it is my sticky friend. And yes, I said sticky. Read into that what you will. Alright, so I have standard crossbow bolts, shotgun shells, the lamp of course, because I need to see shit. Uh, smelling salts, 17 amulets, even though I've been using them pretty liberally. Uh, four menthol flannels, because why the hell not? And yeah. Oh, and don't forget the regular bolts and the mortar shells. And explosive crossbow bolts, plus the cur- Curse the Eye of Isis. Title of game! Eye of Isis. I have the Eye of Isis with me. For documents, I have nothing! Because I don't really need the documents on me. So... You guys ready to rock? First, I'm gonna look at this stuff. Can't I take the shovel and... Let me guess, Darian? Yeah. What? <laughs> Alright. Let me guess, as soon as I get near these statues... Oh. Or it's just gonna do this. Question mark, did I- Hey, question. Oh, we're all here. I was about to ask if we ever put the jewel with the statue. Because smart things to do. Oh. Come on. Why does the ceiling need to be falling, huh? Yep, just... Okay. That's decent for this... This is a... This is the final battle area. You see that, uh... Sarcophagus right off to the side? Yeah! 
I can only guess. That, um... I can only guess that the final boss is gonna pop right out of there. Or it's gonna be Bupo. Or it'll be both. Who knows? That's why we have this lovely adventure to experience. Hi, Mr. Statue. Time to wake up! Wake up! Ow! You know what? I think I'm gonna use my uh, shotgun. Not like I'm in any danger of actually getting killed by these things. I'm bored. Back to the pistol. Ah. There we go. Victory. And I'm not even that hurt actually. And no comments about Bupo, so... Dorian! I get it! Can you please stop saying that every, like, two minutes? God. Alright, let's put it back where it belongs. Um... Didn't I do the thing? What? Do I have to do a bunch of pixel hunting bullshit? Like, what is... It should be letting me put this down there. Just saying. Okay, I'm gonna try to leave now. Because it won't let me put it anywhere. Darian, over here. Oh! Oh! Thank you, game! But she was right next to me. Oh, now Bupo's gonna wake up. Okay. Alright. I can't sequence break. You know? I shouldn't have even really tried to do that. Another sequence break. Ah! Oh, hi! Great Scott. Oh! What in the Billy Maze is that? I don't even know why I said Billy Maze. Whoa! Okay! Now you look like a bandersnatch! Why do you have a laser arm?! What?! I... Let laser arm but e Egyptian things! Good! Good, good things, Egyptian things. <laughs> Ow! Stop! C can I run, please? Thank you. All right. That's taking too long. So, pistol. <laughs> Why? I'm I'm fighting I'm fighting the blob monster. I'm fighting a tentacle blobby monster guy. I I I don't know.
Yep. I have 50 of these. Alright then. I should probably heal. Really? Really? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, I guess I'll use the pistol and then get him to... Alright, and now I'm gonna sh uh, switch to the mortar gun. Oh. Okay, there he goes. Whoa, did I seriously just kill him, though? <laughs> but there's still something laughing at me! What? I've taken the Eye of Isis. I'm not sure how to feel about that. I feel like that should have taken longer. Like I had more trouble with the Ram boss. Alright, um, it's shiny, which means I can put this where it needs to go now. So I'm gonna put it where it needs to go. Alright then. Whoa. All right. That's pretty bright, and I hit a wall. Okay, yeah, that's why Bupo was so easy to defeat. Here comes the real boss now, right? Right? Is it over? Yes. But I just. Come, my young friends, you have done great service. The evil that your parents unleashed has been subdued for now. But what the about government will ensure it cannot happen again. But... but you you have your own lives to lead. And a good deal to catch up on. Okay, so now they're happy about being sisters. They don't even know, know each other. Okay. Yay! Happy? But what about the thing? What about the ho 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 Darian? Oh, that's just never resolved then. All right. I I kind of wanted to fight a big big uh, you know, just a big badass mummy. Like is my last thing. There was a sarcophagus in there. Like I kind of wanted to fight him. The 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 fart gas cloud went to the sarcophagus though. I feel kind of unfulfilled here. Anyway, so, um, this game took me about, uh, 7 hours, 30 minutes, 7 hours, 45 minutes-ish, which, uh, it's pretty short, honestly, for a first run of a game. Uh, the story was interesting, but I kind of wish that they would have gone a little more into it. Oh, Neil Sparks did all the additional voices for everybody. Um, I know that not a lot of people probably worked on this game, which is fine, you know? But it just feels like um, they just kind of stitched it together real quick and like threw it out. Um, I kind of wish that the story was a little more coherent, if that makes sense. Um, that there had been maybe hints to Lashaw's true identity and a reason to why you know the whole thing happened um it wasn't even clear in the beginning if the Suttons you know the parents had even been with the Danes 
there, but all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, they were totally there. Don't you know? Childhood friends, yes. You know, you know, Darian and Victoria, which, you know, eh. Um... I don't know, and I liked Ab I, I like Abdul. He's pretty cool. Uh... Like, I don't know, I just kind of wish that there was a little bit more conversation, actually, between the characters. Um... Honestly, I, I did enjoy this game, if only for the fact of the interesting zombies. You know, the cursed zombies when all you normally see are virus zombies. I like that. Um, I liked it for the Egyptian theme, because I like Egyptian stuff. I liked it for the premise, and I liked the truncheon a lot, but... I don't know, just... Uh, it's kind of like they gave you a little taste, and it was, like, tinged with good old hokey Resident Evil. Um, kind of, you know, just stop, don't open that door kind of stuff. You know? And that's cool, I like that. I like it when it can be kind of goofy. And we're back to the main menu, by the way. Um, I don't know, I kind of like the goofiness. That was part of this. It, it, you know, it kind of had that old survival horror feeling. Um, I just kind of wish there was a little bit more to this. I mean, I got it off Steam for a pretty good price, obviously. So, I don't feel cheated out of money or anything. It's just, I don't know. I feel like, given a little bit more story development, maybe a few more conversations... I could have gotten into this game. Although, the one thing that I really would have liked is to actually have like a big final boss battle and just, I don't know. Not a bad game. Could have used a little bit more tweaking and ironing out and more story. But, I liked it. So what did you guys think? Um, put it right down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching uh, my let's play of this game. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been Kiarazi and Achita with C the last episode of Curse the Eye of Isis. And I hope you stick around for more stuff from me. Bye, guys!